Today on UV Design Tips and Tricks, we show you how to create custom name servers for your VPS server. All right, thanks for watching this tutorial. If this is your first time watching, welcome. If you've watched previous ones, welcome back. Just so everyone knows, on Mondays we release WordPress tutorials and on Wednesdays we release hosting tutorials. Uh, kind of help you out with hosting questions, wants and needs, VPS, shared hosting, a bunch of fun stuff and understanding how it works because a lot of people just don't know, which is fine, but that's why we're here. That's why UV Design Tips and Tricks works or is created. I think that sounds better. Yeah, is created. So, all right. And don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe button to stay on top of what we produce. All right, so let's get away. So you just bought a VPS server and you have it set up. Now you're inside WHM. WHM is the interface for the server itself. Uh, on the left-hand side here, you have all these different menus and this is how you run your server. It's basically just an easy interface board. You have icons and stuff, clicks and stuff. And it's the same thing here and here. Right here, you have inside WHM, you have a search field so you can easily find things faster, create a new account, so forth and so on. But today, we're going to show you how to create custom name servers. The reason why you want to create custom name servers is if you want your server to control all of the, all of the DNS functions of your domain. Now, if you don't care about emails being sent out from the server, uh, you just want your domain to point to your server and just for hosting needs, this might not be a tutorial for you. Uh, you would just change the A record of your IP address, your server and call it a day. But today we're going to show you how to create custom name servers because it is a little tricky. It is a little odd. And that's why we created this tutorial. So let's get started. Like that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Let's get started. Okay. So, what you first need to do is figure out the domain that you want to use for your custom name servers. All companies have different ones. GoDaddy uses uh, Domain Control. Uh, Network Solutions, I think, uses World Inc. Uh, so forth and so forth. So if you're a design company, uh, I have UV Design or UVDesign.media is my domain name. So for my clients, and everyone that's going to be on my servers, I created custom name servers that were uvdesign.media. Branding makes it easy, it's kind of cool, maybe not, I don't know, but whatever. Just pick a domain that you want to use, it's fine. We are going to use, to kind of keep up with our other tutorials, we're going to use fipproductions.com. So we're going to change this into name servers. So if you gave people name servers, they would have their your not your their domain would be on your VPS server and your VPS server would control the DNS so you can change all the A records, C name records, MX. Now this is uh, registered with GoDaddy and this is their controller for that. But we're going to turn this domain into custom name servers. So let's jump back to WHM and we're going to click here for basic website manager setup. You're going to scroll down. You can read all this fine, fancy stuff, but let's just scroll down. And as you can see, I already have to set up for uvdesign.media, but we're going to show you how to make your own. So we're going to go for NS for name servers. We're just going to go to 29.fitproductions.com. And then we're going to NS30. Oops. NS30.fitproductions.com. And then you want to configure the address. So it knows what the IP address it will be pointing to. And you can get that from different places. Uh, again, this is GoDaddy's controller for the server. Uh, right here, this is the primary IP address. This IP address I'm already using for uvdesign.media, so I'm not going to use the same one. I have a secondary one. We're going to use that IP address to keep them separate. Go to go ahead and paste that in there. Um, as you can see, I have a space between the seven and the and the cursor entry. And if I hit configure address, it would say invalid. 
So we're going to try it again. Space again, just hit backspace so there's no space. It happens sometimes you copy and paste. The servers need to know exactly because a space does not, the server does not recognize that space. So you just hit configure and the following IP address has been assigned to this name server. Fantastic. Let's go here, do the same one. Hit backspace again because you don't need spaces. Hit configure. And perfect. Awesome. So now those name servers has those name servers have been created with that specific IP address. Again, UV Design that Media is separate than Fit Productions. Uh, just keep it separate that way for whatever reason you want to. That's what we're gonna do. And you can type in edit up here if you want to see them. Edit DNS and zone file, and here's all the domains. I have all my server. And here you can see these two entries have been added. Now, we're not done yet. Now we have to go back into the domain and tell it we set these up this way. Because right now the server only knows. Now we need the domain to know. So we have to go to wherever your domain is registered at. I'm using GoDaddy. If you're using network, solu network solutions, domain.com, wherever, they should all have this in there for you. Not all of them can do this, I'm going to assume. I'm a, you know, but uh, I haven't tried this with every website out there or every registrar company, but we're going to use GoDaddy because that's what I use. You're going to go down here to host names. Click on here. Host names let you use your domain instead of an IP address to identify your name servers. Fantastic. You have to identify that so it knows. Host name NS29. 29, not 20. What's the IP address we're using? That is the IP address we're using. Click Save. Now, we're going to do NS30. Same IP address. Click Save. And now it's adding. And now we wait. All right, perfect. So now we go back into the management tool, back to the domain, because now what we have to do is tell, okay, so now what we've done was we tell, we've told the domain that we've added these two custom name servers and that I want NS29 and NS30 to point to look at this IP address, which is the server IP address that we're using. Well, I have three IP addresses. That is one of them. And now that domain needs a point there. So now we literally could go to any domain and add ns29.fitproduction.com, ns30.fitproduction.com, and that domain's DNS will be pointed on the server. Well, let's go ahead and make Fit Productions point there because we still haven't done that. So Fit Productions is still pointed to the, the standard name servers with GoDaddy. So let's go ahead and change that up. Click DNS management. We wait and we wait and we wait. But and there was an error. Fantastic. So here's all the domains I have. Click on fit productions. I love tutorials and I love when things just don't work, but hey, I just leave it that way because it's natural. It's organic. I could spend a lot more time redoing this, but I don't have time for that. So cut. Uh, these are the name servers. I have premium DNS, so that's the standard. So I'm going to go ahead and change the name servers again, or whoever you're using, using network solutions, domains.com. This whole interface is going to be slightly different, but it's still the same process, okay? So you might have to kind of figure out where all of these name servers and host name changes are uh, inside that controller. But again, just find it, make the changes. We don't want to use default, we want to use custom. And we're going to use ns 29fitproductions Com. Copy paste that in here.
Click Save. And now we wait, because now it's just going through the validation process of that we're actually changing it. You can see it right here. So what we're telling the domain now is we're telling the domain that we want the DNS to be controlled by these two name servers. It just happens that this is the domain we're using for the custom name servers. Pretty easy peasy, you have to do it. Um, because again, you identified it with the host names. So now we just kind of wait. GoDaddy now has said, we've recognized your change. We're going to implement that. Now it's propagation time. Now, again, it always says up to 24 hours. That's not really the case for the most part. Uh, usually it's a lot faster than that. So let's go to whatsmydns.net. I've talked about this before. It's a great way to see where our, where our domains pointed to and what name servers are using. Just a great reference tool for it. So if we go down here, and there is nothing being used because name servers are being changed. Click here, name servers. And you can already see it's started to uh, propagate. Again, it's not fully. It is what it is. Uh, now we just kind of wait for it. But you get the idea. It's going to change. It's, it's already working. And so that means eventually this record will show the IP address of the server that we're using. So it's going to show where is it? this IP address, the 166262627. So then what we can do is now go inside here. We can create an account. FIP. Productions.com, username, for Productions, password generator, there's my password, who cares, it's not going to be the same password by the time this tutorial is over, you can check it out, email, media, choose a package, uh, we'll go over this at some other point, what are packages and how to change packages. All the stuff we're going to use the same. And see how these say name servers, DNS. We don't want that. Uh, we want to use name servers by, at the domain to registrar. Boom. There we go. Because we told the registrar what name servers to use. And that's what we're going to use. Those name servers. And we're going to hit create. So again, now this will be working towards that when it is all said and done. And that's it. That's how you create custom name servers. Again, wait for propagation. It's going to be set up here shortly. And that's it. All right, so if you have any questions about it, leave a comment below. If you found this tutorial educational and it served its purpose, go ahead and hit the like button, share it with your friends and family, Again, because I know they want to see things like this. Just kidding. No one really cares besides you. It's fine. Uh, and also hit the subscribe button. Again, Mondays we release WordPress tutorials. On Wednesdays, hosting, VPS, basically anything to do with websites and how they actually work with domains, hosting, all that other fun stuff. We know it's crazy. So I'll do it for us today. Take it easy. See you later.